Hi, we are going to interview Gail about her experience of being an immigrant and we are going to ask her some questions. The first question is, when and why did you come to Spain for the first time? Okay. Well, when I came to Spain, I was still studying at the university and we had the possibility of spending our junior year abroad. So one of the, uh, one of the places that we could visit was Spain, either Madrid or Granada. And I always was interested in, in Granada no? and, and interested in Spanish culture. So um, I took a year off from my studies at the university and came to Spain to study at the university here. And um, it was mainly because I wanted to learn Spanish, because my idea was to go back to the United States and to work as a teacher. But the only jobs that were open at that time were teachers who knew both English and Spanish. There were too many people who wanted to be a teacher at that time, so jobs were hard to find. <laughs> the next question is, how long did, did it take you to speak Spanish well? Was it hard? Okay, how long did it take me to speak Spanish well? Well, at the beginning I thought I knew Spanish, because I had studied Spanish at school. But when, you're, when you come face to face with experience, and especially down south, in the southern part of Spain, it was like, what in the world are these people? Same. <laughs> I could hardly understand them, you know. And so it took me about six months, about six months to feel comfortable and to, to, to speak a little bit of Spanish and to more or less, like they say in Spanish, to defend myself, you know, to, to at least uh, have a bit of a conversation. And I think it took about two to three years to really feel like I was doing very well. I also went to university here and that helped me a lot because I studied for five years at the university here. So especially with reading and writing um, and taking all my exams in Spanish, that was really a big help. So my Spanish got a lot better then. I, as you see, I didn't go back to become a teacher. I didn't go back to, to the States because I got married. I got married to a Spaniard and I stayed here. But, um, but I finally did go back to be a teacher, a bilingual teacher, when I was how would I say, a lot older, when my children were in high school. So I was able to go for one year and be a teacher in the United States, helping children who only spoke Spanish to learn English and vice versa. It was very, very interesting, very interesting experience. I loved it. And the next question is, what do you miss the most of your country? Okay, like right now, I don't miss my country that much. At the very beginning, I did. At the beginning, I missed not speaking English because everyone here only spoke Spanish in Spain and I had very little contact with English speaking people. So I really miss not being able to use my own language. And then some food. I missed Mexican food especially. So I had to learn how to make my own Mexican food, which was good. It made me become a better cook, you know. And what other things did I miss? I, I missed a bit of um, being a bit more modern because Spain, when I came, was very, very old-fashioned. But I liked that. I liked that a lot. But then I missed some a bit being a bit more modern. I wish it had been a bit more modern. Now it's changed. Spain is a very modern country, very democratic. It's it's not very different from from the United States for me. You know, I feel very comfortable here now. And especially since I'm from California, Spain has a lot to do with California, so there are a lot of things in common between the two of us, Canada, California, and Spain. What about what's your next question? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the Spanish culture? Spanish culture, okay. Well, see, Spanish culture, I always had some type of contact with Spanish culture because of living in California. But I think what was most um, interesting for me so I thought people here would be very, very serious, very, very, uh, how would I say it, mysterious. But I saw people here were very funny and, and they loved to have a good time. And, um, and they really love going out at night. And that's something I wasn't used to, going out at night. So Spaniards have, a, one, their day, the Spanish day is in the morning, they work. Then they have the siesta, and then at night they wake up. At night they wake up again, and they can be out all night long, having a lot of fun. You know, so I, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was interesting about Spanish culture. But uh, sometimes 
you know, there are differences. I'm kind of from a Puritan nation. So once in a while there were a couple of things there, but I'm not completely, I can't say that no to where I was brought up. I am a bit of a Puritan, but I can't criticize people for being brought up in a country where that's what they're used to. And so I try, I've always tried to adapt as much as possible, but I still hold on to some of my own beliefs and my part of my culture, you know, so I can't come to do. <laughs> I'm completely Spanish, and no one would believe me either. They said, "What's wrong with her? She's not. She's trying to be Spanish, and she looks silly." <laughs> Do you ever think of going back? That's that's a, a, a big question. You know, do you ever think of going back? When I was younger, that came up more than once. You know, there were times when I felt kind of depressed thinking, I don't know if I should continue living here, but I had children and my husband, and I was finally getting into job, getting a job, and you know, I was getting, becoming more established, more settled here in this country. But I did go back twice, one time for four months and the other, and then the other time for a year, and I loved going back. It was wonderful. But then I, when I was over there, I missed things here in Spain, you know. So now that I'm older, that comes up again. Because I think as people get older, your roots start pooling <laughs> and you start thinking, oh, I wonder if I should end my days here in, in this country or if I should try to end my days where I was brought up. One thing, it's never the same. When you're young, you remember that the most. You remember things that happened when you were young. But as, you, as I've gone back, I've visited my brother, it's not exactly the same as when I was younger. So. It would take some time to get adapted again, if I were to go back. But, I, but I'm able to visit. At least I'm able to go back and I can visit and I can see my brother and a couple of cousins who are still alive. But, um, but it does come up every now and then. I would like to go back, maybe, try it for a couple of years. But it's also one of those dreams, you know, it's just a dream. <laughs> the last question is, what do you like the most about Spain? What do I like the most about Spain? I think what I like the most about Spain is that the people are a little less stressful. You know, a little bit less stressful. They kind of, life is hard here. It's very hard here. People work a lot and you don't make much money. Uh, it's hard to make ends meet a lot of times in this country. But people kind of just live day by day and they love their children. That's one thing I, I really liked about Spain, the, 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 the family life. Um, that's something that I wasn't used to in my own country. I just had my mother and my father and my brother. I didn't have an extended, extended family. So what I like is having, I have grandchildren now. I like having grandchildren and I, and I, and I see my children still. And so for me that's very important, you know, that part of it. So that's what I like, the family life in Spain. And uh, I love the food. The food is very good. I really <laughs> to cook a lot of nice things. The smells. When the, the nice smells, <laughs> the different smells, <laughs> the, nice, the nice smells about when people are cooking. Oh, it, it just smells so good when you're going home and you smell mm -hmm. this, this food, even when you're walking down the street. Um, and I, I don't know, it just, there are things that I don't like about Spain either, but that those are less. I, I like Spain more than not like it. Okay. So I really enjoyed talking about this. I just think sometimes that we have to think that being an immigrant is not easy. You have to begin all over again with the language, with studies. They, a lot of times maybe the new country doesn't accept what you studied. You have to go back to university again or you have to learn something. You have to do something completely different than what you were thinking of doing when you were younger. I really feel bad for the people nowadays who are the immigrants because of wars. like in Syria, or because of poor, uh, they're having really bad times with their economic problems. And I feel really bad that they're going through these things. I wish the world were a better place, and that we could help these people where they live, and not have to have them uproot themselves and be forced to move because they don't want to die. You know, they don't want to have their children suffer. So I really feel bad for those immigrants. At least I can go back. But who, those people a lot of times can never go back. They don't have a place to go back to, you know? So I feel that being an immigrant is difficult. But in my case, it was okay.
<laughs> it's okay. Okay, that's it.